More than 900 new deaths from the coronavirus were reported on Wednesday. That's the most in a single day. About 90% of Americans are now facing stay-at-home orders as well. But still, the White House Coronavirus Task Force projects up to 240,000 deaths could occur from the outbreak. Nadia Romero has an update tonight from the nation's capital. Healthcare workers under strain in the hardest hit states like New York. Waking up in the morning and walking into the hospital can feel like walking into the fire. To limit the spread, more than 30 states now under stay at home or shelter in place orders. Florida's new order won't go into effect until Friday, while Tennessee's governor says he believes closing non essential businesses will be enough to keep people home, causing California Governor Gavin Newsom to make this impassioned plea. What are you waiting for? What more evidence do you need? Uh, if you think it's not going to happen to you, uh, there are many proof points all across this country, for that matter, around the rest of the world. President Trump said Wednesday a national stay-at-home order isn't likely right now. There are some states that are different. There are some states that don't have much of a problem. You have to look at, at states. You have to give a little bit of flexibility. The administration is optimistic the nation could be back to business by early June. Dr. Anthony Fauci warned social distancing guidelines can't be relaxed until the virus is more contained. The one thing we hopefully would have in place, and I believe we will have in place, is a much more robust system to be able to identify someone who's infected, isolate them, and then do contact tracing. The ultimate, the ultimate solution to a virus that might keep coming back would be a vaccine. In Washington, I'm Nadia Romero.